I want to ask you about vocals because you've not had one single vocal style throughout your career. You've gone in different directions, come back <laughs> around, right? Yeah, I think like since our break, the way that metal core or like what us and like Kill Switch and some of these bands were doing, the way it's evolved, it's got really whiny. Like the melodic vocals that are like super fucking whiny and annoying in a lot of bands, and I don't, I don't like that shit. I think that's a shitty direction. I like like a kill switch and gauge vocal like Jesse or Howard. Do you know what I mean? Like you can sing and have clean vocals and make it really fucking powerful. Like the first couple records, I was 100% aggression. Like our first well, suicide notes and then the curse was very aggressive. On Death Grip, I started to do a little bit of melody, but not really singing. And then like, when you go to a major label, like dude, like straight up, like you try to like get your record done and they're like, we need to do this, we need to do that. You've got to change this, you've got to do that. And, and you have to like try to get your record done right. no matter what, you know? Now we're at a point where I just get to be me and do what I want. And what I want to do is be aggressive and emotional, but I don't want to be emotional in a weak way. I want to be emotional in an aggressive, passionate way. And for me, that's screaming and yelling and emoting myself, not in a singing, melodic way. Like, I don't want to do that shit anymore. What changed for you? Was it just that you were feeling Time pressure off. from a label? Or like, what made you come back around? I don't like to do what I'm being told to do. So the truth is, like, I wanted to try it on lead sales. Right. I tried it on lead sales and like, it was moderately successful. Like, we had like Falling Down, it was like number three, at, like alternative rock radio and some bullshit in the States. Which I guess if you're into that shit, or you're a label guy, that's really cool. We did it, and then I wanted to kind of get away from it. And then once you do it, once you dip into that well, it's hard to break free. It's hard to like go to your major label and say like, hey, this next record's gonna be super fucking metal. Like no one wants to hear that. I think I'd lost my way a little bit. I think our band had got like, kind of like bigger, and like I was reacting kind of weird to it. Like I didn't, and I wasn't comfortable with our music as much. And now I'm super stoked. Like our, our music, I love it. It's, it's the best it's ever been, you know? I would fight for it. I tell people it's good. I go, man, have you heard our new record? It's really good. You know, in the past, I would never, ever, 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 ever say that. So what's giving you that confidence? Well, they're not just going to give a fuck. I don't really care what anybody thinks of me. If somebody, like, likes me or doesn't like me, like, based off, like, one or two random things they hear or read, like, well, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, it matters to me, like, the people that meet me and talk to me. It matters, like, the people who pay and come to our shows and support us. It matters what they think. It matters, you know, what my mom and dad, my wife, my son people pay for a trade tickets what my bandmates think it doesn't matter what fucking like um critics or journalists or like people in the middle or you know think we just i just do me